honestly, it's not about talent or any of this. It's about a sense of what you want to do and where you want to go. And, and also com conflicting with that, um, some flexibility when things are changing as they are. If you're there and you're thinking there's a programme or a show or a paper or whatever it is that you really love to work on, just find out who the boss of it is. We've got to be impartial, but equally we've got to analyse, editorialise and contextualise as well. And therefore you do have to sort of stick your neck out a bit sometimes and say, well actually, that was a bit of a mistake. If any of you get a chance to go to local newspapers, I recommend it thoroughly. It was great grounding, you know, we did local council meetings, county councils, magistrates courts, uh, county courts, made contacts with police and fire brigade and so on and so forth. It's an absolutely brilliant grounding and one which I'd recommend. You just have to really sort of big yourself up in your own head um, and sort of grow that confidence. Um, just walk and talk like you are, you know, a Newsnight presenter, even if you are just a student, as I was. So the key thing, if you're going down the reporting and the journalist route, is to make contacts but also to make contacts in a way where they trust you, so you know when to go with the story and when to sit on it and not go with it. I would say hand on heart that to this day, even though I've been in the industry for you know, 15, 16 years now, I use skills today that I picked up in, that, in the year I was at Trinity.